Hey guys, this is your local grill guy, Jeremy, coming at you again with another grill tip. Um, so, if you've ever cut into a fresh cooked steak or any cut of meat, and you get that nice juicy bite right out of the center, and then the outsides of it are kind of tough, chewy, you know, um, it's probably because you didn't let it rest first. Uh, any, any cut of meat you cook, you should always let it rest for at least a few minutes. The bigger the cut of meat, the longer it should rest. So if you're doing a steak, let it rest five to seven minutes. If you're doing a big old Boston butt, give it an hour or more. Um, so what happens is when you cook meat, the protein set, and when the protein set, it forces most of the juice into the middle of the meat. So if you take it off the grill and you cut right into it, all that juice is in the middle and it just spills right out. So the outsides of the meat end up being dry. So if you let it rest first, the proteins kind of settle back down and the juice works its way it works its way back out so what you end up with is a more consistent juicy tender cut of meat so i'm going to show you this boston butt that we're cooking here at the store today it's done cooking it's beautiful it's got a nice color to it it's jiggly it's done so we're going to pull this off the grill and i know a lot of people would be tempted to just cut right into this bad boy but that would just be a huge mistake. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap it in foil, move it over here to the table. Get her nice and cozy in her bed here. Now, can you guess what I'm gonna do next? I'm gonna wrap it again. double wrap here and then of course I'm gonna wrap it again three wraps they're nice and cozy in there no juices are spilling out this is about an eight and a half pound Boston butt it was about nine pounds before I trimmed it this is going straight into the Yeti dual wall insulated roto molded and totally food safe lock that down we're not touching that for at least an hour when that comes out of there the bone's going to pull right out it's going to be a beautiful cut of meat so uh we'll check back with you in a little while all right guys so it's been right at one hour since we put our boston butt in the cooler we've been letting it rest now, uh, if you have the extra time, I mean, you can let it rest for two hours if you want. It's still gonna be hot and you know tender and juicy. It's gonna be awesome. Anyway, let's get at it. Let's see what she looks like. Looks great. Looks like the bone's already starting to pull a little bit on its own. So, oh, look at that. There's a treat for the chef. Mm. Mm. That's awesome. Don't waste the juice. I mean, that's a serious party foul if you waste that juice. Moment of truth, guys. Here we go. bit of meat stuck on there but I'd say that's a pretty clean pull right there that's gonna make some awesome pulled pork you see how easy that comes right off and this is why we let the meat rest this is gonna be even down here on the small end it's gonna be just as juicy and tender as it is down here on the fat end it's why you let it rest otherwise I mean it's still gonna be good but it's not gonna be as good anyway as always we really appreciate you guys watching. Um, we'll be back again next Wednesday with another tip for you, just like every week. Come see us on a Saturday between 12.30 and 1. We'll have samples like this, so you can come try some of this awesome food. 
And of course, look us up on our social media. We'll have the links on the video right at the end for you. Appreciate you guys. Have a good day.